Hi, and welcome to my tutorial, my short tutorial on my reactor patch that I call Timely Sweeper. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about how to map your parameters into Ableton or any other digital audio workstation because it was kind of confusing for me because uh, some would map automatically and some wouldn't. So first what we're going to do is look at this uh, look at this patch that I've created. It's a synthesizer, a pretty basic synthesizer. It's got amplitude envelope generator, uh, filter envelope generator, a uh, uh, small L LFO, simple LFO, and four oscillators with a mixer. So it's pretty basic, but what I've done is that I've altered the traditional control in the, um, in the envelopes that Reactor normally gives you uh, from the logarithmic knob that's from 0 to 100 where you can't really tell how long your attack's going to be or how long your release is going to be. So what I did is that I changed it into a uh, beats and bars kind of thing, kind of feel. Um, I find this a lot better to make your sweeps more musical and as well as your pads. So how I did that was that I just did a short uh, amount of math uh, using the log and the tempo info operators and what you come up with is these controls so you have a lot easier way of knowing how long your sleep's gonna last and, and so forth so after that point you can go on to manipulating your parameters in uh, more specific ways like the certain pitch oscillators the specific pitch oscillators and stuff so I'll show you how it works um, basically we have a two bar attack and two bar release on the amplitude envelope and the same on the filter envelope so we can do a one bar attack on the filter envelope and so we'll trigger that and you can hear that going off and then once it gets to the end of the sequence it'll die down after two bars oh, with the compressor on it takes a little longer so yeah that's basically how it works what you can also do is use these pitch envelope generators that aren't really part of the they're part of the global controls but they're triggered by buttons so they don't automatically have any impact on it. You select your interval for the pitch envelope that you want and as you would in the other ones you select the bars or beats that you want to attack, release, and decay in. And so this would be an 8 bar attack. Let's make that 2 bars just to get more of an effect. And yeah, so we trigger this again and this time we push the button and we can hear it attacking and then releasing as we release the button so it's pretty self-explanatory um, the only main problem I had was making it so that it would automate without uh, without having to control it myself so um, Usually you just configure that in Ableton. You hit this button and then you would adjust your pitch. Or that one's already been configured. But some of them, um, they don't configure automatically. See, that one does, this one doesn't. And the reason for that is this global ID right here. So what you have to do is change it to a number under 100. For Ableton, it's uh, a lot less than something like Logic, which has a lot of um, capabilities. So you're parameters might map a lot easier so we map this to about 90 and then we see that it does show up in our configuration and we can automate it on um, in our parameters at that point you have all these automatable parameters now and so that changes that and so forth so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, I think this is a great patch for creating a bunch of different filter sweeps and pads and once you set these, you know exactly how long it's going to take to do its job, and then you don't have to worry about um, tweaking knobs and stuff like that, and you can go into the the more um, uh, specific 
aspects of your sweeps and f uh, pads and make them um, shine through and be more detailed and intricate. So practice and enjoy.